Hello everyone, this is Michelle Shannon, and I wanted to do a positive video to encourage the Remnant Army. Um, we are having a lot of uh, challenges right now as individuals and as a group as the Remnant Army. And um, I just want to, even though I am having my own personal challenges, I want to, um, you know, step forward and encourage and inspire others um, just because that is uh, my mission and my ministry and what the Lord has um, raised me up to do. I've noticed that there are a lot of individuals right now um, who have their own personal ministries that are being attacked. And I also noticed that there are um, a lot of individuals in their personal life who are being attacked. And all of these attacks are clearly without question Satan. So just real quickly, I just wanted to encourage everyone uh, today and uh, inspire everyone to keep moving forward. Um, I'm going to do another video after this to address something else. So I hope you'll check that out too. Um, but first, I just want to inspire and encourage. And um, most of all, I want to remind everybody, we all know this, but it's just good to stop and pause and take a look at it, that this is without question a spiritual battle. Anytime our family is attacked, anytime our uh, relationship with God is attacked, anytime our, um, our um, ministry work is attacked, anytime our prayer life is attacked, all of this is Satan trying to bring us down, trying to create questions in our own mind, um, trying to create doubt, um, fear, doubt, all of that comes from the spirit of evil. So I want to encourage everyone to just remember that as you're going through these difficult times. Uh, we are entering the hardest times um, we'll ever go through, and we're just at the brink of it. It's going to get much worse uh, before it gets better. Uh, before Jesus returns. But what the Lord was showing me last night, I want to make this quick, um, is that he directed me toward the Sorrowful Mysteries. I hope everybody has their copy they can get from church um, of the, uh, you know, way to say the rosary. But in the Sorrowful Mysteries, he uh, directed me to look at the fruits of the mysteries. And the first fruit of the mystery and the first um, sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden and the fruit is sorrow for sin. And I think that's always where we wanna begin as we're going through hardship and we're going through um, attack uh, by Satan. We wanna look at what um, our own personal um, you know, uh, failings and our own personal, um, you know, we, we see other people attacking us, but what, where have we gone wrong and where have we done, um, the things that have, um, created a barrier between us and God. Always that's where we begin is our own sin and repentance for our sins, uh, removing that sense of pride that doesn't come from God. So um, that's first and foremost, is to remember to repent first. When we're being attacked, begin with our own, um, our own faults and our own sins and, and ask for forgiveness and have that barrier removed so that the Lord can communicate with us clearly. And then the second sorrowful mystery is purity, which after we repent, we experience that, um, you know, we're washed clean of the blood of the lamb, of Jesus. And um, we experience that purity. And that is in um, the second sorrowful mystery, um, which is the scourging at the pillar. And remember too that the, um, the scourging at the pillar, the fruit of the mystery is purity. When we are persecuted, when we are attacked by Satan, uh, when our min mission, our ministry, our prayer life, our family is attacked, all of that is helping to bring forth purity. And um, it's a, a, a cleansing of sorts in the same way that the scourging at the pillar was for um, Jesus in all of this. He was, he was sinless. But that scourging represents the, um, the just the the um, purging of sin. 
and then um, in the purging of evil and that's uh, real important and then the third sorrowful mystery is the crown of thorns and uh, the uh, fruit of the mystery is courage and we want to move forward with courage in our hardship and in our persecution uh, that's brought on us and in our um, uh, uh, difficult times and um, the uh, uh, courage is just such an important thing to remember and um, you know it's it's our crown you know once we we wear that uh, challenge and we um, do it with courage and then the next thing that the Lord showed me was uh, the fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross and I think that's just really important to remember as we go through uh, difficult times as we go through um, persecution, as we are attacked um, by Satan. And we know if we're part of the remnant army and we're praying our rosaries and we've uh, listened to the messages of Maria Divine Mercy, we know that um, we know what this battle is about and what this is going on and that we know we've got to carry our cross and that we will have a cross to bear. and. Um, so that's what uh, the fourth mystery is about. And then the fifth mystery is about the crucifixion. And the fruit of the mystery is perseverance. And perseverance is really a crucial um, aspect of uh, a fierce warrior for Jesus and a person who is a part of the remnant army. So... Um, we uh, just need to persevere through the difficult times and through the uh, persecution and through the attacks and through the hardship and um, carry our cross for Jesus. So these are all things we already know, but sometimes it's good to have someone remind us. So the Lord put me before you today to remind you and um, also to help me get through it myself. Uh, so, um, you know, hang in there and do it for the love of the Lord. And um, remember to pray for the people who bring hardship upon you. Remember to pray for the people that persecute you. The people who upset you the most are the ones who are crying out, acting up and acting out because they need you to pray for them. So remember to forgive and to pray and um, uh, just ask the Lord. You know, we ask God to have mercy on these souls uh, but we have to be forgiving first. So remember that. So anyway, I hope that helps everybody. I know that many, many people in the Remnant Army are very challenged. And I just want to encourage everybody to uh, be strong, be fierce, and um, just remember to turn to, you know, the sorrowful mysteries. Say your rosaries every day. We fight this battle through prayer. And that's all I have for you today. Peace and love and all that is of the light and brings glory to God is, is what I extend to you today. Thank you, everybody. And again, um, I am a child of the Most High God. I belong to Jesus. Never forget that you are a child of the Most High God and you belong to Jesus. God be with you.